everyone and hi once again YouTube. This is Mia, your YouTube broadcaster signing on to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video guys, we'll talk about the DAV token, right? Now we'll get to know more about this one, what is a DAV token and what it's his purpose is. Alright, so here. The coin of transportation blockchain-based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network right so let's get to know more about this DAV here in the FAQs okay so what is a DAV DAV is an open source software platform that allows anyone to buy or sell transportation services in a decentralized market the AV integrates into any vehicle, whether it's car, drone, or ship, enabling those vehicles to discover, communicate, and transact with one another. This shapes a decentralized manned transportation network today and is the underlying infrastructure for an autonomous transportation network tomorrow. The AV accomplishes accomplishes this through the DAV protocol which connects vehicles, users, and service providers on all one network. Okay. Now, why does this need to be on the blockchain? DAV takes the P2P information transfer capabilities of the internet and the P2P value transfer made possible by the blockchain, in this case via the DAV token and brings them to their next logical conclusion, enabling P2P transfer of physical goods. Consider this scenario. A package needs to be delivered using a drone. The parties involved include a sender, recipient, drone operator, goods, ins goods insurer, and arbitrator. The blockchain and uh, specifically smart contracts enable us to conduct these kinds of transactions P2P directly between these parties without needing a intermediary, thus reducing costs to all parties while providing them with the assurance they need to conduct business without necessarily trusting each other beforehand. Okay. Now, autonomous vehicles seem far in the future. How can this be applied today? Today, our protocol creates a decentralized internet of transportation with the manned vehicles on the road and in the air that we see today. We've built the underlying infrastructure that allows these vehicles to discover, communicate, and transact with each other utilizing the blockchain technology. This same infrastructure will allow autonomous vehicles to discover, communicate, and transact with each other. Although autonomous cars and trucks have not yet achieved mainstream adoption, the world is awash in innovation in autonomous drones. Companies large and small are popping up around the world offering autonomous drone services to industry and the public. Look up at what Amazon is doing, or 7-Eleven, or Flytrex, and you will see solid evidence that autonomous drones have arrived and are rushing in to fill a massive service void. Utilizing our protocol with autonomous vehicles, DAV will first focus on the technology on the drone and rover market which is right on the cusp of mainstream adoption. Autonomous cars, buses, trucks, and marine vehicles will be addressed in due course. Right. Now, what is the purpose of the DAV token? Why, is, why use a new token and why not use Ethereum or any of the existing ones? DAV tokens are essential for a truly decentralized transportation marketplace. The DAV token is needed for users to participate in the innovative DAV platform. Now, today, vehicle owners and service providers who see the value of a decentralized transportation ecosystem will benefit from historically low barriers to market entry or enabled by the DAV platform along with operational optimization. The same goes for AV owners and once more AVs 
hit the market in the coming years. Now guys, how will vehicles get the AV software? Will the manufacturer have to allow or does this all happen after market? We are working on this on more than one level. First, we have software that can reside outside the vehicle. Example, either on a remote server or on board an aftermarket component attached to the vehicle. This software can speak to the uh, with the vehicle using its existing APIs to give it commands, received telemetry data, and more. We are already working with a number of vehicle manufacturers, both manned and autonomous, this way both integrating with their existing APIs and working with them to open new API capabilities. Second, there are common standard emerging for vehicles that will allow the addition of external apps to the vehicles, IVI, or with appropriate permission, of course. We are in touch with someone who has been doing a lot of great work on this over at Automotive Grade Linux, and we are looking into that as well. Finally, we will be working with manufacturers to integrate the AV technology directly into their vehicles. This will happen at a later stage, but we are already in talks with a few companies about this at the moment. To make this possible, we are creating developer tools and SDKs for different programming languages and platforms. These tools ease third-party development and allow our partners to focus on their core business by abstracting a lot of the complexities of working with blockchain, doing decentralized communication, and so much more. Now, another one question is, what blockchain will the AV be built on? The AV is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, will scaling on the Ethereum blockchain be an issue? We are looking at various approaches to improve transaction times and lower fees, which is critical for micropayments, including using side chains, but we have not announced anything yet. We are in discussions with several partners who can solve for any scalability issues. We chose the Ethereum platform because it has by far the greatest concentration of developer talent working on it in the blockchain space. The core development team at the Ethereum Foundation is heavily supported by game theorists and formal verification experts and they have ample funding. To top that off, the commercial and industrial interests that have aligned with the Ethereum blockchain are global heavyweights, namely Cisco, Deloitte, Intel, MasterCard, Pfizer, Credit Suisse, just to name a few. With that kind of backing and interest, we feel Ethereum is currently the protocol with the greatest chance for global adoption at this time. To address your concerns about transaction speed and congestion, We'd like to highlight that we need to be looking at potential rather than current status. We all recognize that this is still early days for a blockchain technology and thus the foundations are currently being built for future use. Vitalink Buterin recently said, I expect 2018 at least within the Ethereum space that I'm best able to speak about will be the year of action. It will be the year where all of the ideas around scalability, plasma, proof of stake, and privacy that we have painstakingly worked on and refined over the last four years are finally going to turn into real. Live working code that you can play around with a highly mature form in some cases on test nets and in some key cases even in the public mainnet. Everyone in the working or everyone in the Ethereum space recognize, recognizes that the world is watching and we are ready to deliver. Having said all that, our gifted CTO and CEO are both accomplished technologists who keep a close watch on the broader ecosystem and should another platform make a better case for the success of DAV, migration would be an option.
Now, who is, uh, who is behind DAV? DAV's team consists of successful entrepreneurs, innovators, blockchain experts, and autonomous vehicle specialists. Our team, together with our advisors, partners, and community, are building the future of transportation together. We can learn more about who we are in or um or rather you can learn more about who we are in our team section now where is your project incorporated dav is a registered non-profit foundation in treforma ag grand benchrasse 256340 bar zog switzerland the team is located at tel aviv san francisco vancouver and switzerland when was your token sale 11th of June 2018 to 25th of June 2018, our token sale was restricted for persons from certain jurisdictions, including the U.S. or China. All right. Okay, so let, so we've um, known about the FAQs on the DAV. Let's go to the technology here. Now, DAV is a framework of open source software open source hardware and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services our technology consists of three major components namely trustless cooperation tools decentralized discovery and communication protocol now decentralized discovery DAV allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other as well as service providers and clients around them. DAV implements decentralized node discovery using a peer-to-peer -peer protocol that does not rely on a central server. Instead, nodes are listed in a distributed hash table which can be accessed in an extremely efficient way. Communication protocol DAV defines a library of uh, standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. This communication is divided into two groups. One, on blockchain communication done directly by calling smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts. And two, off blockchain communication done peer-to-peer -peer using DAV's protocol. And the third one is the Trustless Cooperation Cooperation Tools. Trustless cooperation between buyers and sellers of transaction services is achieved using a series of specialized smart contracts. These smart contracts enable multi-party contracts between buyer, seller, and when needed, between arbitrator, insur insurer, and others. These contracts are tied indirectly to the DAV token, guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre-established trust. All right. Here. And here below is the roadmap. This is the year DAV was founded, July 2017. Now, in May 2017, DAV white paper realized, or released on July 2017, published on our first code published to GitHub. On September 2017, drone delivery app released, first drone uh, released there. Now, on, on October 2017, or simulated drones environment. November 2017, communication site release. November 2017, first communication hackathon. And um, accepted in the Swiss Registry SA Foundation, also first DAV smart contract deployed. Now, on this December 2017, DAV CLI and Testnet go live, developer portal launch, and DAV passes 100 contributors on GitHub. On January 2018, Autonomous Boat sends first selfie, testnet block explorer on the first quarter 2018 first drone delivery negotiated and completed autonomously on may 2018 network launch drone flight planning service launch drone charging service launch 
first vehicle charging negotiated and completed autonomously there. And on June 2018, token sale on the third quarter, first autonomous boat mission completed on the DAV network. And here, these are their uh, future plans for the fourth quarter of 2018, decentralized discovery, decentralized communication, decentralized non-autonomous road hailing network released on, um, on the first quarter of 2019 would be the first vehicle to hire another vehicle to complete the last mile of a delivery. Second quarter, decentralized non-autonomous delivery framework released. And on the third quarter is long-range drone flight supported by a network of charging stations. There. And here, guys, are the um, protocols. So here. Let's explore what we've built so far there. So here. Here are the community built modules. Drone charging network. The AV connects drones and charging stations on an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using the AV tokens. Current status, a DAV Alliance member has made available a network of five charging stations in northern Italy. These stations offer charging services through the DAV network in exchange for DAV tokens. Drone Flight Planning DAV connects drones and service providers along them to buy and sell flight planning services on the DAV network using DAV tokens. Drone pass the waypoints of their planned trip, and the route planner bids to offer a service in exchange for the AV tokens. Once a mission has been awarded, the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. The current status, integration with a DAV Alliance member has been completed and the service is currently offered in Nevada, USA. Drone Missions app. Missions is the first app built to showcase the DAV ecosystem. It connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones. Users request drone services Drones bid for those services and trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. Current status, integration with the first drone partner. Here. DAV, CLI, and Testnet. Our command line interface or CLI tool was built to make developing applications and services that interact with DAV a much more pleasant experience. It allows developers to easily run a local testnet containing DAV contracts, generate identities secured by private and public keys, and register them on the blockchain. This allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with DAV and more. The current status, fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. DAV Developer Portal Our developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running our command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. Current status multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for our CLI tools is now available. The Block Explorer. Our Block Explorer allows users to explore our local Ethereum testnets. This eases development and debugging for developers building apps and services on top of the AP. The current status Work is underway to package the Block Explorer, enabling it to launch automatically for the DAV CLI tools. Mission Control 
Mission Control serves as a discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps tracks of vehicles, users, and services. The current status, fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries, currently being expanded to support the vehicles of our first partners. Autonomous Boat The AV and the California Marine Time University are developing an autonomous boat called N3MO, or rather pronounced NEMO. When launched at the end of September, NEMO will be tasked with collecting oceanographic measurements in the San Francisco Bay. When NEMO runs low on energy, it connects to the DAV network, purchase and pay for charging services with DAV tokens, and after it charges, head back to sea. NEMO will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. The current status, boat is ready, work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. Here, Nasty is the search and rescue robot. DAV and Horizon, or uh, Jose Ron, a robotics prototyping platform, are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue missions. The rover will bid four missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location, and then using its onboard LiDAR and computer vision, find them and send back to their exact coordinates. Current status, Rossbot's computer version or vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. Alright, so guys, that's it for about the AV. Now here, the current price is about half a pen each or 0.006609 US dollars and it went up today at 19.29%. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Now guys, again, all of the information provided is for your news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain and here about the AV. And guys, you should do your own research to support and really um, decide for yourself regarding making decisions with this applications so guys um thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates this is once again mia signing off and i'll see you in my next video bye guys